Imagine if some of the original Pokemon games had a part 2, like a sequel, like we can go back to generation 1, 2, or 3, or 4, whatever, and actually have an extra storyline that just adds on to the one that we already have with those games. That would be such a cool idea, and I feel like this is a possibility for like the future of Pokemon, because there might be a day where they can't come up with enough new stuff to make like a brand new Pokemon game and then all the remakes are going to be caught up and everything. Like Pokemon they have like their own specific release schedule that they kind of stick by like sometimes they skip a year and then they'll do a remake. Also really quickly guys I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 10,000 subs for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card so all I have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, comment down below letting me know you want to be in the giveaway, stay tuned for future videos and subscribe to the channel and then you'll be entered and then when I actually hit 10,000, I'll be announcing that giveaway winner. So I think one day they're going to run out of ideas and they're going to probably, hopefully, give us a sequel to some of the OG games. But there's, there's a lot that goes into this, right? Because a lot of people don't like sequels because sequels typically ruin the original thing. Or maybe not ruin it, but the storyline of the sequels usually never live up to the first part, I guess I'll say. Like, this happens in movies a lot. I guess some video games are like this, except for Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2, the one that just came out on the PS5, is so good, and I think it's actually way better than the first Spider-Man. But that's, yeah, we, we're not talking about Spider-Man today, we're talking about Pokemon sequels. I don't know, I think this would be really cool. And I know with like a remake, they usually kind of change things up a little bit. So you could kind of say that's a sequel, but it's not really a sequel because it doesn't have an alternate storyline. Like, the storyline's the exact same with the exception of maybe a few little changes here and there. But I'm talking about, like, what if we got to go back to Gen 1 and have a whole extra storyline? So roughly, I guess, 20 more hours of gameplay of a part 2, and it could just be, like, Pokemon Fire 2 or something like that. Probably adding 2 to the sequel names would probably work the best. I don't think coming up with a brand new name would be that good, but I guess if they come up with a really unique name, then it might be fine. They'd have to name it something that the consumers would know is like an actual part two. I don't think this is anything that would happen in like the near future. This is something that I think might happen way down the line or maybe 10, 15 years. That would probably be a reasonable time to do a sequel to like the OG Pokemon games because like, I don't think we're gonna go back to generation one anytime soon. We just had Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee based in generation one of course that was i mean you could say that was like a long time ago because that was six years ago but in like the storyline of like pokemon releases that wasn't that long ago so i don't think we're gonna go back to generation one for another few years and if we did what could they possibly do besides give us a sequel right they've already made remakes for generation one people have played generation one a million times it's the first pokemon game amazing game but we've gone back so many times the only way we'd ever go back to Generation 1 or Kanto, whatever, is in a Legend-style game. And of course, I love Pokemon Legends Arceus, so I would 100% be down for a Legends game based in Generation 1. I just don't think they're going to do that anytime soon. I really think all the Legends-style open-world games are going to take place in different regions. Looks like the Unova region might be the next open-world game, maybe, based off of just small rumors and leaks. If we go back to Generation 1, the next time, I feel like it's going to be a part 2. Of course, I don't think Pokemon has said anything about this, like, I don't think the company has said anything about a part 2 ever, and we've only had a part 2 to Pokemon Black and White, and I guess Ultra Sun and Moon, I guess, technically as well. Um, so. It's not like they've never done sequels or never want to do another sequel. I'm sure they're going to do another sequel to a game, but the difference with that is like those were sequels released right after the first version of that game, like Black and White, and then it was Black and White 2, and then it was Sun and Moon, and then Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, right? I'm talking about we're going to go all the way back to Generation 1, Part 2, Pokemon Gold and Silver, Part 2, or something like that. I just think that would be super awesome, and I'd actually love to play Generation 2 because I think out of every single generation, Generation 2 is the generation I've played the least of. I've I've only played like half of Pokemon Crystal, and I really haven't ever came back to the game, and I really want to get Heart Gold and Soul Silver. One day I'll get those games. And there was also a game called Pokemon Z, which I'm sure all of you guys have actually probably heard of. I don't remember if that was actually going to be a part 2 or just like the third installation, which would be a little bit different than the main games, just similarly to how there's Pokemon Crystal that goes alongside with Pokemon Gold and Silver, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same story overall, but just a little bit different. 
I can't remember if Pokemon Z was supposed to be a sequel or if it was just like the third installation, but Pokemon Z was a cancelled Pokemon game. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've thought about Pokemon Z, but if I remember correctly, it was actually in production and then cancelled, or maybe it was about to be in production and then cancelled. And then I think Pokemon Grey was also kind of supposed to be a sequel, but they cancelled that and then end up, ended up doing Black and White 2 because I think the stuff with the storyline in Black and White, Pokemon Grey just didn't make sense at the time. But, I mean, it shows that they're down for part two, and I don't think a story is ever over, honestly, because a story is a story. It's what people can create and think of, and if you can keep thinking of stuff, you can continue the story, you know what I'm saying? Even though Generation 1 wrapped up in Generation 1, if that makes sense, you could still add on to that. Like, they could still give us something that happens after that storyline, or maybe, like, a different character within that storyline that kind of connects with the character we played in generation one you know what i'm saying kind of like a spin-off but within the same exact universe same region the same actual video game like canonically i think that's the word canonically canonically i'm also curious to know what generation would you guys want to see a part two of if i had to pick any i would probably say generation three Gen 3 is a great generation, and I just recently played through it on the remake on the 3DS, but like that game was just so good, and there's so much to it. I mean, as there is with every single Pokemon generation, there's so much to every single generation. Like, everything goes in so much depth, there's always storylines behind every character that you can kind of branch off and just continue to write stories about. And if we're even going to get crazy here, what about a part 3? Imagine a part 3 to Pokemon Black and White. That's been another huge topic. Pokemon Black and White 3. I personally don't think they're ever going to do Black and White 3. I don't think they'd do a trilogy. Maybe they will in the future, but I don't know if they would do it with Black and White because I'm pretty sure the leaks, like I uh, mentioned earlier, the leaks are suggesting we're probably going to get an open world Black and White game which I guess you could technically classify as Black and White 3 if that actually does come out. But I just don't think they're going to do a trilogy. I, I don't know. And same thing goes with Pokemon Sun and Moon. I don't think they're ever going to add on to that generation, especially because the games were not that great. I've heard Ultra Sun and Moon are actually better than Sun and Moon, but Sun and Moon is just not that fun. It's, it's okay, you know, like as a game it's fun, but as a Pokemon game, it's just not that good if that makes sense because all the other pokemon games compared to sun and moon are just super super good one game that would actually be cool to get a sequel to is scarlet and violet if they could do a part two and then just completely fix all the lag and stuff that would be great there also is another rumor going alongside that that we might get two more dlc parts to scarlet and violet i i don't know if that's legit or not I don't really think that would make too much sense, but at the same time, like, the Pokemon company has been really experimental with everything in the last few years. Like, the Switch, Pokemon games, every Pokemon game is so different from each other. It's just super experimental, so who am I to say, you know what I'm saying? Overall, though, I hope we get a part two to any Pokemon game in the future. I could wait. I'm not saying, like, I want this now, but in the future, that'd be super cool. Maybe, maybe I'll do a video about, like, a whole storyline of part two of generation one or part two of gen two you know what i'm saying hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video